While I'm in my Canvas dashboard, I want to go to my Accounts tab to check some settings. So I'm going to go to my Settings within the Account tab, and I can see that I have email addresses here on the right-hand side. If I want to add a separate email address, such as my personal email address or my phone number to receive text messages, I can do that by clicking the plus sign and registering my SMS for text or simply registering my email for emails. A parent or guardian can also insert their email if they would like to receive notifications about your courses. Other contact methods could also contain the parent email address or text message. If I click to edit my settings, I can change some of the other features that are in my settings menu. If you needed to change your language from English, your time zone should always stay Eastern Time. To change your password, you would click the Change Password. These are some registered services that you will use. If you want to remove them, you could. It may not be advisable at this time. Google Drive Access means that you've already given Google Drive access to your account, so you should see this here. Whether you need the high contrast mode on or prefer that means of looking at your page, if you don't like celebration animations, if you'd like to see your links underlined, you can move the toggle back and forth to select or deselect any of the settings that you prefer. Also within your account, or your ability to manage your notifications and turn things on and off. Remember though, you may not you may miss an important notification. Your profile is in the settings account. You can update and edit your profile if you wish to add a little bit about yourself. You could find files that you've uploaded to your Canvas account and start to create an e-portfolio of all the information that you've gathered through your learning experiences. That's how to use accounts and how to update your email address and settings.